Good morning, folks. This is Naima, some Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade, and welcome to our daily fundamental video analysis. What am I looking at today? That is the question. Well, it is all about the FOMC, and this is the reason that what I am seeing in the market is a bit of a hesitation. What do I mean by that? As you can see in the chart, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is still maintaining its upward trend, but the upward momentum isn't that strong. This is despite the fact 70% of the Dow Jones stocks are trading above their 200 day simple moving average. So why are we not seeing this upward momentum? What is the market is waiting for? Well, today, as I said, it is all about the FOMC meeting and uh, traders and investors do not want to bet heavy ahead of this monetary policy decision. What time is that monetary policy decision? At 7 p.m. UK time, we will hear from the Fed about the monetary policy. The anticipation is that the Fed is going to keep its monetary policy stance enormously dovish. This is what the market has been betting for the last number of weeks especially since the Jackson Hole meeting. You remember, the Fed introduced a new monetary policy chapter in order to tackle inflation. So let's break it down a little bit more. Let's simplify that a bit more. What does this mean for the forex market? What does this mean for the equity market and for the commodity markets? Now, in very simple terms, what it really means is that the Federal Reserve is likely to keep its interest rate, <coughs> excuse me, at the same level, which by the way, it is at cur currently at a record low level, near enough to be zero for a longer period of time. Now, as long as the Fed shows that yes, we are confident about the gradual recovery, but we are not moving our monetary policy anytime soon, market is likely to take that as a dovish message and that means we could see an uptick for the euro dollar, we can see an uptick for sterling dollar, we can see an uptick for dollar yen, and anything which trades against the dollar in the forex world. Now, what about the stock market? The, the stock market has been trading very much within the lows and highs of last week. As you can see in the chart, the S&P's price movement on a weekly chart is still confined by those highs and lows of last week. So if the dovish monetary policy stance is maintained, meaning the Fed doesn't change its monetary policy, the market, as we know, it is, it is so much used to of the Federal Reserve support, of the central bank support, it is likely to move higher because remember yesterday the Dow Jones dipped in negative territory but it closed in positive territory by a very very small margin by how much to be precise by 0.01 percent and this move was very similar for the S&P 500 index as well and so goes for the Nasdaq but with respect to the Nasdaq I am still a bit more comfortable because the Nasdaq's price action, just like the other two indices, is trading above the 50-day moving average. The question is, why do I feel comfortable? The reason I feel comfortable is because this stock rally is led by the tech sector. And if there is still hope for the Nasdaq to continue its journey to the upside, which, by the way, Goldman Sachs, which is the biggest bank on Wall Street, confirmed in, a, in, a, uh, in their report yesterday that they are still anticipating new record highs for the stock market. And that record high is likely to be fueled by this, by this tech rally. So all in all, the summary of entire uh, uh, market for today is we are going to see a very cautionary approach between now until the Fed announces its Federal Reserve monetary policy decision. Two, market is expecting no action and more dovish or no change in its monetary policy from the central bank. 
that will be considered as dovish. Now, the surprise element could be if the Fed increases the growth forecast or says something which can really take the market by surprise. That means sterling dollar, which is the most vulnerable pair, can really see enormous amount of a sell-off, currently trading in around 1.28, but it can easily fall towards 1.27 or even lower as the Brexit chaos continues in the background. That's all for today, and I'll see you guys next time.